Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX issues details on cause of September 1st accident, Bell introduces the V-247 UAV, Blue Angels cancel their air show at Pax River. I'm Brie Cross, it's September 26, 2016, and this is Airborne Limited. As promised, SpaceX is starting to reveal details of their investigation into the catastrophic loss on September 1st of a Falcon 9, its payload, and other damage to the launch complex. SpaceX said in part, quote, At this stage of the investigation, preliminary review of the data and debris suggests that a large breach in the cryogenic helium system of the second stage liquid oxygen tank took place. All plausible causes are being tracked in an extensive fault tree and carefully investigated. Through the fault tree and data review process, we have exonerated any connection with last year's CRS-7 mishap. SpaceX says that teams have continued inspections of the Launch Complex 40 and the surrounding facilities. While substantial areas of the pad systems were affected, the Falcon 9 support building adjacent to the pad was unaffected. They also said the new liquid oxygen farm, which includes the tanks and plumbing, were also unaffected and remains in good working order. It's reported that work continues at Pad 39A in preparation for bringing it online in November. Speaking before an audience of aviation and military experts assembled at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. last week, Bell Helicopter unveiled the Bell V-247 Vigilant Tilt Rotor. The Bell V-247 Tilt Rotor is an unmanned aerial system that will combine the vertical lift capability of a helicopter with the speed and range of a conventional fixed-wing aircraft. The aircraft is designed to operate without the need for a runway and is also adaptable to landing pads aboard a ship. Its tilt rotor configuration is powered by a single engine and is projected to have a cruise speed of 250 knots while using a speed of 180 knots for endurance. The combat range is forecast to be 450 nautical miles and it is proposed to have an endurance of 11 hours. It is a large aircraft that can weigh up to 13,000 pounds but is configured to fold and stow so that two of these aircraft can be carried aboard a C-17 cargo aircraft. After the break, the Blue Angels cancel an air show for crew rest. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at news.net. The Blue Angels recently announced that they will not be performing at the NAS Patuxent River Air Expo on October 29th and 30th. The announcement came in a terse news release issued by the base. It says that following the mishap involving Blue Angel No. 6 in June of this year, the Navy decided the team would need to take off one weekend every eight weeks during the air show season to combat fatigue. It happens to be that the Air Expo falls on the eighth consecutive week of air shows for the team following their time off in late August. No other cancellations are planned for the Blue Angels this year. The Navy reminds us that those who had wanted to see the team at Pax River will have an opportunity to see them in Baltimore at the Maryland Fleet Week and Air Show October 15th and 16th. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off and left. Giant scale model aircraft push the limits of radio controlled model flying, and in this case, the limits of the aircraft itself seem to have been exceeded. Search Giant RC Crash Sob Gripen on YouTube. After these messages, a Quest Kodiak airplane does service in Botswana. The Bristel Light Sport aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. 
Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Ministry of Environment, Wildlife and Tourism in Botswana has taken delivery of a new Quest Kodiak airplane. The aircraft will be used by the Department of Wildlife and National Parks for anti-poaching law enforcement and other various missions. A World Trade Organization compliance has ruled that the European Union has failed to comply with its obligation to remedy the massive subsidies European governments have provided to create and sustain Airbus. It's claimed this has been going on for more than 40 years. Retrix Commercial Aviation Services has selected Worcester Regional Airport as the maintenance base of operations. This new state-of-the-art airport opened in 2015, and Retrix will service all small and large general aviation and corporate aircraft at their new facility. Dallas, Texas-based Seven Bar Aviation has renewed their pledge to donate $25,000 to the Medevac Foundation International over the next five years. This helps the foundation continue its mission to advance medical transport worldwide through the support of research, education, and outreach programs. The Predator Series drone family of aircraft has achieved a historic industry milestone of a fleet-wide total of 4 million flight hours. It's reported this equates to 70 Predator-class aircraft being airborne worldwide every second of every day. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Tracy Curtis Taylor, who made headlines claiming to fly her vintage biplane, Spirit of Artemis, solo on extended journeys, allegedly did not actually fly solo much of the time. After the revelation by her flight instructor, Edwal Gritch, that he occupied the front cockpit of the restored Stearman for all but four of the 36 legs of her flight from South Africa to Britain, the Light Aircraft Association is considering stripping Curtis Taylor of its prestigious Bill Woodhams Trophy, which was awarded to her in 2015. Curtis Taylor said in a statement that, quote, For the avoidance of doubt, I have always been the sole pilot. By that statement, we assume she is claiming she was the sole manipulator of the controls, but that it was not a solo flight. She was also awarded a Master Medal by the Honorable Company of Air Pilots in 2016, but that award is now also being questioned. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.